So yeah, continuing talks uh, about my life. As I told you, I didn't hear any German until the age of 12 years old. And it was quite happy at times. Because... Because, to be honest with you, I really think that German is not a particular beautiful language. It's not a particular... Um, well, I would say melodic. And there are a lot of languages which are, uh, which are kind of really sounding better. And um, for the first time, I realized that it could be, it could be sounding beautiful. I uh, speak German only the age of 17 because all of a sudden, just by an accident, I heard some German tourists picking up from the train on the central station of Rodno and uh, it was really sounding like a little bit like English. I mean, the uh, way they've been speaking was uh, not so very kind of wiggling, <laughs> but kind of really much more smoothly uh, going into some kind of melody. So I realized this language is not this good at all, and I was to be trying to uh, learn it and to get to this country because. Uh, I was getting a chance to get to Germany all of a sudden, although I really knew that I'm gonna be um, I'm gonna be an immigrant and I'm gonna be uh, living abroad and far far away from uh, from Belarus. I always knew I was rather uh, thinking that I'm gonna be somewhere in the UK or maybe in Italy because from the very young age I was fascinated by the Italian uh, um, Italians, the uh, Renaissance, the Italians, the Renaissance, and art, and I was talking about um, all the sadness of the plant, and uh, I remember I didn't even mention that I knew everything about sad art. Nonetheless, I've been for years and years, um, and by the Italian um, art, and, um, Art sales by Italian uh, we applied. So I really thought for a long time I'm going to be ending up somewhere in Italy or England because uh, English travel was really the one which I was learning. So I never thought uh, about Germany as a possibility of a home because, well, I was totally not fond of German history. I think the fact that this country was made. Amazing world wars twice is a very poor factor and it's something really telling me that the poor maybe the Soviet nation is quite uh, poor and aggressive and violent, which is uh, really very um, going in contrast with my uh, perspectives and beliefs. Yeah, so I was quite hating German and German city. <laughs> to put it mildly, and I was doing everything to escape every German lesson in my school and in my music college. So, virtually, I became a kind of screenwriter and storyteller mainly because I really, really wanted to escape German lessons because I thought uh, this language is so horrible and uh, there was no chance uh, to learn English at all. So, I just got sick. I didn't remember again. I was totally hating it and I was creating the most incredible stories and telling them to the teacher just not to attend the lessons. So it was a very often a very often situation that I was only a, a teacher of German in my uh, college and I was telling her I'm in a hospital, my both legs are working, I just met an enemy. It was just a, a collapse of our two spaceships, and now I'm in the hospital. And just right now, I'm uh, in the surgery, and I cannot attend your German lesson today. I'm very sorry. See you next week, Miss So and So. And she was kind of believing me, and I did not get got killed or something else by the German uh, teacher.
picture, but it was the beginning of my uh, big screen release. Um, it's all based on the uh, wearing heat uh, to a journal, which 25.